Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. My name's Isaiah and I'm here today to do a product review on an LED lamp. I was contacted by a Wow Lamp. You know, the guy was really sincere sounding and had an original product to his description. I noticed the Wow Lamp manufacturer, you know, so I, I did a little research on that guy, on the company and the guy, and realized that it is this, uh, a small company they have three lamps available they sent me the t800 uh, they've got three lamps available all patented uh, they are in china but they're uh, a small group uh, and they're actually doing the work they're actually doing the the design you know they're on the path uh, of uh, doing stuff that no one else is doing but let's just get into the unboxing of it and a, re a quick review of it and uh, i'll tell you what what i think at the end Okay, so it comes in a familiar briefcase style case and uh, just opens from the bottom here, so we'll do that. And of course you get the uh, wow lamp here. You get a brief little drawing of the T800. Uh, this is LED lamp. It tells the wattage of nine watts, a uh, light level equivalent to 60 watt incandescent bulbs, built-in USB charging port, five to 100% four step dimming. Uh, it's 4,000 K. And here is the base plate wrapped in that silky smooth plastic that comes with these things. Five volt, 5.5 amp port. That's what it says on the back. So I'll uh, test that to see uh, how much power is coming out of this thing. Then we get the wall adapter here. And then this is the unique part that I was talking about right here. You get a uh, you got the base over here and then you get the uh i guess the leg of it or whatever coming up to the head which uh of course has your led lamps in it and then here's your uh, leds running here all right so let's move on to the simple install which should be simple because these pieces look uh identical they're like two identical pieces on either end and basically you're looking at contacts on each side here and that's what's gonna get the power to the LEDs there. So now let's see how easy this slips into the back. All right, a little, little uh, struggle push there and she's in there. And now this piece right here actually goes uh, into this black uh, little, little square here. So we'll go ahead and do that now. A little, little bit of force, but nothing crazy to get it done. But yeah, it looks really cool. Well, there's no doubt about it. The uh, lamp looks unique, and that that's for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like the simplicity of it. And from an architectural standpoint, I think it looks really good and different. There's something that's like got this odd appeal about it that I really like, and it kind of feels you know, high-end-ish. Like if you went into uh, uh, somebody's study or maybe a, a, a table in between a couple pieces of furniture or something like that and saw this sitting there out in the open and one of these big floor plans or something, it would kind of just fit in there like really cool and elegant like. So it's safe to say that the 4000 that was on the box is in fact the uh, color temperature coming off the uh, LED lights. I can see this. Uh, I'm experienced enough with the trained eye, you know your color temps, right man? Alright, so uh, you got your power uh, on up, up the front here, and then you've got your four brightness selectors so you can cut your power on, and it's got a memory to it, so whichever setting you were on last, when you cut it off, you cut it back on and go to that same uh, setting. So, so this is the lowest setting here, second, third, and then the brightest, which is the fourth. Uh, it gives out a good, uh, this is a good soothing natural tone, I'd say. It's a good, it, it's a good color temperature. It's a good reproduction of what, uh, you know, color tones of your skin and things like that would look like. So that was a good choice on their part to go with this. I think already I can tell that this is just one of those abstract lamps, an artistic looking thing that uh, that's what it's tailored for is that user i think so if you really like something unique which i don't think you can get it anywhere but them because they have a patent on this and a two-year warranty also they'll repair anything that's wrong with it for two years by the way so keep that in mind so uh, all in all right now looks good there is another unique feature to the lamp 
uh, you can cut the lights off completely and still have a green light down here sort of like a night light or a direction guide for whenever it's pitch black or you can even cut the green light off to uh, cut the green light next to the power light on and cut the light itself off you just hold down the power button like that when the lamp's on and you'll notice the green light next to the power button if you wanted that green light off to have pitch black whenever you're asleep you can just push the light to come back on again and then push the power button now you have no lights on this unit whatsoever it's complete darkness now that's different from a lot of the led lamps that i've tested a lot of them they'll illuminate the power button and then there'll be a sleep function button there they'll stay illuminated and at night that does cast a lot of light out with well, this one right here will be complete darkness and these do look nice i mean these are uh, very good looking led lamps it will look good uh, next to your bed so i can see this being a thing that you would use it's important that these things do not exceed uh, too much over 5 volts because then you're looking at damage in your electronics. Uh, I'm getting 5.4 volts on a 5 volt port uh, that's rated for 5 volts. I'm getting 0.63 amps which is fine for this because that's what they normally pull out of one, 1 amp ports and stuff. So it says 0.5 amp port but it's actually it appears to be a one amp port I'd say uh, because this is consistent with what I normally get with one amp ports uh, 5 volt one amp ports but the 5.4 is the only thing that gives me a little caution because these do have a deviation uh, it's it's small it's like point or point two uh, up or down it's not exact these things aren't terribly expensive but 5.4 may or may not be within it's hard to tell this is good for giving you a guideline ish to go by uh, so 5.4 may actually be right at 5 volts i've just never had one read uh, quite this high uh, so i can't say for sure yes it's over 5 volts but just be aware of this i just returned from testing the wattage and they did nail the nine watts that is completely accurate uh, on the brightest setting it's nine watts and on the lowest light setting it's two watts well hey can you see me well how about now okay so now we come to the final test and that is complete darkness with the lights on and we'll go through the stages of brightness and you can see what it looks like um, it's short enough to where if you're sitting next to it you, you shouldn't see uh, the light itself and this black uh, little ridge that's up under here that kind of blocks the diffuser and the diffuser uh, you can't see it and also it's good to note that you can't see the leds through the diffuser either so it's good enough of a milky look to it to block that number one is a very very low soothing but number two it jumps up a lot and then you go three four let's see we'll go two three four two three four and back down to one and then two one two and three four one two so you see it's a big big upswing in brightness but i understand why they did that and i think it's because you can have this on and not disturb the person uh next to you sleeping and one other test i want to do too before i forget i almost forgot and you're probably blinded right now but uh, if you see a flicker uh, now, I didn't advertise flicker free that I noticed. So uh, it's always a bonus if it is flicker free. So we'll go through the motions. We're on the brightest now. So we'll go five, four, th or four, three, two, one back down to the lowest and see if you see any flicker. And back to the brightest again. So if you didn't see flicker, that's a good thing in itself. So my final thoughts on the T800 by Wow Lamp. I like it. I mean, it's uh, abstractish. They're the only place you're gonna get it. It's uh, patented by them, so you're not gonna go and get uh, another reincarnated one of these anywhere else. That's an awesome thing. So if you want something original, go for it. It's really good, really well made. I like it a lot. It's not flimsy, as you can see here. It's solid. And I like the fact that it connects with like no wires, just these little connectors on the ends here, which is really cool. I can't wait to see the future of what they're gonna do because this is outside the box. So the future's looking bright for a wow lamp.
So this has been Isaiah's Reviews with the T800 by Wild Lamp. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video to all your social sites. It helps get me places I can't get to my own. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you.